So I wanted to use this vlog um, to talk about the benefits of depression walks. Um, one of the things that's helping me now is even um, because of this depression walk is basically doing this vlog. The reason why I barely done it is because I let when I let my depression get to me, I go on this huge emotional roller coaster and I lose control and I start having suicidal thoughts and don't want to. I let my um, fatigue get the best of me and just don't do anything but if I force myself to go out especially on a nice warm day like this then um yeah, I feel better not 100% I still my depression is still there um but I feel better and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about so I was determined not to spend all day today hiding in my apartment. So I got out on a bus and came, well I'm actually at the University of Minnesota right now, which you can tell because there's a M on the bridge and that's part of the campus and that's actually where I walked at from. I got off the light rail and people can that's where the light rail goes and there's a road there and there's um, a path on the side for both bikers and walkers um, but yes yeah, see I went through pretty much from all the way I walked from there down to the pretty much the other end and I found the pathway that leads me down here so I can do these vlogs or well so I can do a vlog down here because I've never been down here before I was always trying to figure out how you got down here um, but from up there it's like awesome because you can see the entire downtown Minneapolis skyline from there and you know beautiful views like this this is what helps um, uh, when you're surrounded by nature let um, let the wind blow past you and just focus on um, the scenery. I think that helps because you're f not focused on the negative parts of your life or the negative feelings that you have. Um, when you do depression walks, you're actually exercising. Me, I can't, um, I don't have the strength to even run anymore. I used to run, but depression pretty much drain the energy out of me so I can't even run anymore I can walk a short distance um, I'm trying to stretch it out more because after two or three blocks usually I get worn out and as a matter of fact I'm sitting down on the bench right now because I've walked quite a few blocks so I need to rest um, but this is a uh, nice place to just sit and relax and just kind of even just lay down and look at go cloud gazing just do something that takes your mind off of things off of the bad things in a way uh, when you do that um, I feel like I get lost into this new world that I've never been a part of because depression I've been hiding wherever I was living at, at the time for years um, when I used to work years ago I would go to work and go home go to work go home go to work go home I wouldn't do anything else in between like um, skateboarding although I don't like skateboarding I actually got in a skateboarding accident the one time I did try it but uh stuff just depression walk is a small step all I can do right now is a small step if I try to overwhelm myself with all the things I wish I did or but I didn't do or overwhelm myself with everything that I could do now. It's just, my living is too much for me. Like, seriously, I was not planning on choosing life. I still think of life as a curse, but, 
I, like, my passion for suicide is, like, gone. And I noticed that my suicidal thoughts aren't really, um, they're there, but it's not as frequent. It's, like, dying down almost completely. Um, so, because I haven't been doing vlogs, I haven't really told you that I've been using the rubber band again. And that's a coping skill, so... What you do is you put a rubber band on your arm. I can't really mess with it because I'm holding the camera on the other arm. And you pull on it every time you feel suicidal or depressed. Or you want to hurt yourself. And then you, you're based, what that does is you're hurting yourself without hurting, without hurting yourself. It's like a better alternative without actually putting your life at risk. Um, so... That's what I've been doing. That's what's been helping me lately through those suicidal thoughts. But what's helping me now is this depression walk. And I feel better. And I feel I feel like it's giving me hope. I should do... Like I've done this before. It's not like it's my first time. I think what I need to get used to is doing it much more frequently. Because doing it once or twice every few weeks isn't helping much. I need to do it at least once or twice every couple of days. Because knowing my, knowing my body, I get a lot of fatigue because of depression. So I can't do this every single day. And what's overwhelming for me now is that I feel like I'm in a box. Um, I don't know where to go. I don't know new places to explore. Um, I don't... I don't know anything. However, I did go to the mall the other day. Oh, wrong, wrong compartment. And I got a, this tour guide stuff. So they're like, basically just... Minnesota Urban Adventures, um, like a wilderness guide, Stillwater, I've actually been here before, visitor's guide, they're like all visitor guides type of stuff. Hold on, I'm trying to put it back in my bag. Okay, um. So, I'm going to be looking through that. I wanted to do it today, but honestly, I've been here for a while. I actually want to go to the library now, so I can actually upload it, because I don't have my own um, internet or anything. And I think it's best that I don't until I move out of my apartment, because I can't stay there anymore. Um, just because it's a bad environment, it's a bad place for me to be, not to mention I tried to kill myself there. And I... Every time I walk into that apartment, I get those suicidal impulses. So, and that's one of the things that's helping me. Like, when I'm just out here walking about, um, I don't pay attention to the bad part of my life, which is my apartment for one. I have to get out of there. I can't stay there anymore. I can't sign another lease, so... But I'll talk about that in another vlog. The point is, I just go out. I don't. You can go out for start small, as much as you uh, you can only do one block, two blocks, if you can. If there's a place to sit, like a bench, maybe if you're outside, to sit down and enjoy the wind. Unfortunately, here's the downside to this. Well, at least for me. I'm in Minnesota. This this heat is only like four to five months out of the year. We get winter for at least six to seven months. So how I'm going to handle this depression walk is I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think what's best for me because I'm not cold tolerant. My skin gets cold extremely fast, faster than normal, and um, 
I think I should be in a more warmer climate area. Arizona might be best. There's benefits and downsides to all of it. But um, weather-wise, I can't stay here anymore. Because I want to... I just... I don't want to be depressed anymore. And the winter forces me to stay indoors. Because I don't want to go... I want to, I just... I don't want to... Um, lock myself like that anymore. I'm not into winter activities. I like heat. I love the heat. Which is why I've been considering going to Phoenix. And yeah, it will be bad at first. I mean, I'm not expecting a luxurious lifestyle or anything, but it'll be a start. The main thing is, is that Phoenix is spread out. And there's public transportation there, but it's not much. I would, pro I would basically need a bike everywhere. And maybe it wouldn't have to necessarily be Phoenix, but I do want to go there. I wouldn't have to deal with tornadoes or <coughs> all that disastrous bullshit. I just, I don't know. I just, I know for the time being, because summer's almost here, going out, outside. I mean, I am stressed out that I don't know where else to go. Although I should take my own advice and not worry about destination, just go outside. So I think I'll just do that. Um, and it, it does help. I feel better. A little bit. Not 100%. Um, I still am scared about my future. I don't know if I even have a future. I may be trying to survive for nothing. Uh, if you knew how bad my month has been, I. But that's the thing about me now. I don't want to live in the past anymore. I don't. The, what's done is done. I wish I didn't make mistakes, and I wish I didn't let depression run my life for over 12 years. I wish I would have known about depression sooner, before I stopped caring about getting help altogether. Oh, uh, well. I don't want to focus. I want the next half of my life to be about starting over of, and um, living my life and being faithful to my own identity and not sacrificing my voice or opinion f to impress or to uh, win acceptance from other people. That has been a huge problem my whole life. That's what I want to focus on. So, the, today I'm at the University of Minnesota, and tomorrow, who knows where my depression walk is going to be. But I'm going to start dedicating myself to more of these walks, because I don't want to be depressed anymore. I don't want to thrive in suicide anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, this like... I might have to move. There's like ants crawling on my arm. God. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stand up now. Ants crawling on my arms. Who knows what else is on me? Anyway, I've been here for a while, so I, I'm gonna head off to the library so I can actually upload this. And hopefully as time goes on, I'll start doing more vlogs. Um, but um, these vlogs are nothing special. So if anybody's watching this, I'm not doing any, anything specific. Yes, I'm talking about my mental health. But this is just serving as a video journal because I want a document of my life. I want to look back years from now where I've been and see where I've come, far I've come since. You know, and it's, you know, whether I'm living 31 years or 89, at least it's something for me to leave behind and for people to see on how I was dealing with my 
life struggles with depression and social anxiety. Stuff like that. And in a way, my battery's about to go dead, so I think it's time for me to end here. But if anyone's watching this that's suffering depression or social anxiety, I highly recommend pushing yourself a little bit more to go out on the depression walks. It's definitely helping my mood. I'm glad to be outside right now. Um, I definitely want to do more outdoor vlogs. So I might start vlogging here more. As long as there's not like a lot of people around here. So uh, I guess this is it.